Let's see if we got anything in the first trap. Buddy. You guys get your gloves on? For sure. All right. Oh, wow. You guys got oh, it. Oh, wow. Hey, yeah, you got it. You guys are killing you got it. it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Come on. You got it. Oh, we got first oh, one. First one. Oh, there's oh. lobsters in there. This is crazy. Alaska vibes. We're not in Alaska, folks. We are in Maine. Welcome back to another Guggen Squad episode. It is myself, joined by John and Sam from Mindac Outdoors, and we are in Maine. Today's objective is to catch lobster. I have never had a true authentic lobster from Maine. Like sometimes you go to restaurants and they're like Maine lobster, but you don't really know. But today, we're actually going out to catch them, clean them, and then cook them like the authentic way. This is about as fresh as it gets here in Maine. We couldn't come to Maine without first trying to dabble with a little bit of Maine lobster. So I'm excited. You guys have never done this either. Nope. So we're gonna be a bunch of, uh, what's a name for like a rookie fisherman? Like there's gotta be a name, right? Like, uh, oh, geez, I don't know. What, what do they call like in the in deadliest <laughs> catch? There's plenty, there's plenty of names. I don't know if we can say them on here though. Oh, oh. no, you can let it rip. Let it rip. <laughs> oh, geez, I don't know. My mom's watching. Oh, all right, all right. We can't, we can't have it. But basically, uh, oh, what do you, a greenhorn? Isn't that what they yeah, call it? That's accurate. That's like from like deadliest catch. Big yeah. deadliest catch guy here. <laughs> Greenhorns <laughs> are like the rookies. Whatever's below a greenhorn, that's, that's awesome. what you guys yep. get with oh, us yeah. three. So it's going to be quite the adventure. I'm excited. How far out are we, are we ripping? Uh, or is it just like right mile, in here? Mile or two. Mile or two out there. Yeah. What, what, and what was your name? You gotta introduce yourself. I'm Griffin. Griffin? Uh, and what's Griffin. your buddy's name? Uh, Wyatt. Wyatt and Griffin. They're gonna be our, our tour guides out today. And they're gonna put us on the, the lobster juice, I guess. How many pots sure. you got out there? Um, we got like a hundred. Oh, okay. Only we hauling like one or two. Only, only hauling yeah. a couple. Are they called pots or, or traps? Uh, I mean, call them what you want, but okay. pots really. Pots. Okay. It's like, it's just like a crab pot. Like I said, I keep referring to Deadliest Catch because big fan of the, that. And this is about as close as I'm probably gonna get, but I'm excited because lobster tastes absolutely fire. And what's the what's the strap for catching cup? So you got any ideas? We, we did a, we did a little scouting here today. Okay. And we got the big pot, like a, like a crawfish pot almost. Yeah. We found an island we can just like oh scoot right up on there, and it's just it's beautiful. Really, island. It doesn't get any better. Maine, beautiful, crisp ocean smells on an island with delicious lobster. You gotta stay tuned. Absolutely gorgeous out here. We have a little bit of partly partly sunny right now. Get a little bit of overcast here and there. Beautiful, like it's not glass, but it's almost damn near close to glass. Islands in the view right there, getting the smell, that fresh salt that you know I don't get that back in the Midwest, so I'm liking that a lot. We're just cruising along this beautiful coast, looking for red, green, and yellow buoys to pick up. The boys were kind of explaining it to me, super, super like dumbing it down for me. When you try to like locate lobsters for like a good place to throw the traps, you want to find 50 to 60 feet of water, something around that. And then they were saying like the ledges, rocky ledges is like super key to toss in the, the, the traps to catch all these things. So it's not only like just super easy, you throw them out wherever and you get lobsters, you got to know the location. And these boys seem like they have it down pretty good. Done. So we've got the first trap baited up, you guys saw that, and now it's time for the good old send-off. Um, again, going back to Deadliest Catch, lots of references here, big Deadliest Catch guy. Uh, and they have like a thing that like flips them out, but obviously with beefcakes here we'll be fine. We can just give her the old shove with, with just some good old, you know, brute muscles. Force. Yeah, brute force. So, do you just, uh... Yeah, I'll slow down yeah, what's the strap? Spot, and then okay. you just, just send eat, it out. And then yep. do I have to like watch this? Yeah, just make sure it doesn't get tangled in your feet. Yeah, yeah I've seen that it. too. Yeah, it wraps around your feet and then you just get eat it in the oh, bearing yeah. seat. That's a botch, so we don't want that happening. <laughs> so. Like, right. do I just like yep. eat no, it? No, you so just put like, like this and just slide it. Slide right up hard. Yep. Slide it. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, good work. Oh, yeah. Good work. Oh, yeah. First ever. There you go. Well, there goes the first lobster trap. So go. today's agenda base. Okay, so how often do you have to check them? Like every two or three days. Every two three days. Obviously, we're not going to sit on a boat for the next two to three days. So 
We're setting some out, rebating some, and then we're also gonna check some that these boys have already set out in hopes that some of them have some lobster in them. And then that way, obviously, we can do a lobster catch and cook. We're just showing you guys the process. Now, we're gonna condense it into like an afternoon, but ideally, it's, you know, usually a two to three day deal, just like, you know, trapping raccoons or anything else at home. So, with that being said, let's go check a trap that's been here for a couple days and hope it has some lobster in it. Well, we've made it to the very first trap to check. And unfortunately, we are not able to actually physically bring them in. Now we can assist in the, you know, grabbing and picking them up and stuff like that, but you can't, we don't have licenses for specific lobster fishing, lobster trapping. So the boys that we're with, they are gonna handle kind of the, the dirty work. Unfortunately, we're not able to do it. Um, we're just gonna be on supervision duty and then obviously cooking duty for sure. So let's see if we got anything in the first trap. You guys get your gloves on? Sure. All right. Wow, you guys got oh, it. Oh wow, hey, yeah, you got it. You guys are killing it. Yep. Oh yeah, come on, you got it. Oh, oh yeah, first God. one. First one. Oh, there's oh, lobsters in there! Oh my God. You gotta be kidding me. Giant. You gotta be kidding me. What? On the first pole. What? Bro. Oh my God. 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 Wow. I was expecting like giant. one or two, bro. Dude, there's gotta be like at least one. Oh there you my go, boys. God. Holy shit. Dude, look how big the pictures are on that thing. Dude, oh my God. package. All right, so you just kind of put that notch right there, like this top one right here. Put it right behind their eye socket. Oh, he's a keeper by a mile. Be, has to be on top of this shell. Yeah, it has to be in front that, of like that on one. Edge. So like, if it was right here. Not a be, keeper. Not a keeper. No, that's no, a keeper. So that's he's a keeper. Yep, that's one. Dang, dude. So I'm, I'm not allowed yeah, to grab no, no, you, no, you, no, you Look at Buddy's claws. <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna band him up? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, how do you do that? Right, Look at that, dude. Oh god. Oh god. Hey, how hard do they hey, pinch? Hey. You wanna find out? Uh, no, actually, I don't. Dude, why you got murked this morning? But, but dude, look how big, like. With gloves on though, it wouldn't be that bad. What the heck is going on? I've uh, I've held like, some live lobsters claws. at like Red Lobster or something like that, <laughs> but never straight from the ocean, just in my hands like this. Absolutely insane. I mean, they got some kegger claws right there, as you can see. Wouldn't want to get pinched by those guys. But so one of them, one of them's working, and which one, what's the other one do? Uh, so like this one right here, that's the crusher claw. Okay. It just pretty much just crushes whatever, okay. and then that one's like. Um, Rips what do they meat? call it? Yeah, like ripping. It the just meat like rips the meat off whatever they so eat. So this guy is a crusher. Yeah. And then meat. Meat hair. Meat That's hair. So they look different. Why did yeah. I never know they had different I claws? I didn't either, dude. I did not know that. Am I just like that ignorant? But like yeah. I've had lobster. So that one kind of but puts in the work and then that one just. Okay. Just just, are you guys on gotcha. crush duty and then like picking apart duty, I guess. For sure. Multitasking lobsters is basically what we got That's going on. So now we got to band these guys up. All right, let me see that one because that yep. one doesn't have good claws. So you just do that. She's ready to go in the hot water, boys. Whoa, just like that. Just oh, yeah. Like that. Wow. She's, she's clapping right there. Is she? Yeah. <laughs> really? Throw it back. <laughs> that guy's blue compared yeah, to this yeah, guy. Yeah, look at the different colors. This guy's like orange, but he's blue. This is crazy. I just cannot believe trap number one was absolutely loaded. So now we need to, we need to be on sorting duty, right? We got to throw back the unders and keep yeah, the yeah. overs. Wow. I am so, dude. It just looks so good. It looks delicious. And the meat out, out of the, like, these are just giant. I don't understand how they're so big, how I didn't know they were so large. Like, this is yeah, just absolutely awesome. incredible. Huh? So, yeah, we need to go ahead and sort this pot, and uh, we'll see what we got left. Cool. There's no one. Oh, these are all small. All right, well, the trap is reset, and we're going to send her back down to the depths here. We're going to find a location and just... Give me a good shove here. I got a lot of shoes to fill after this guy yeah, did his I, first I, I killed it. No big deal. Just watch your uh, watch the foot. Watch, watch the, the feet. feeding. Watch the yeah. feet. Yeah. yeah. Get, get little stretches in here. Okay. You good. You just let me know. Oh, I will. Okay. I don't yeah, know if John has it in. All right. Oh, we're going. Oh, let it rip. Jeez. Is that good? Hit that might have been better than Flair. Oh! oh you heard right. it. So you you heard it. I didn't think I had it in you. I'm out. I, I'm out of here. Son of a that was some power. I, like I, I just, I had to live, I had to try. That's D2 squat. football stage. It's, oh. it's kicking in. It was a squat. Well, trap number two's in. Uh, on to the next trap. Teamwork going on. Yeah, look at the, the, oh gosh. What do we got? Well, oh, that guy's a keeper. Oh, oh these are bigger big. ones. Oh, wow. These yeah. are bigger ones. Yeah, those are like, okay. green over here. Yeah, that's, there's few, fewer, a lot fewer. There's like two or three. <laughs> But I mean, they look like they're keepers to me. Chili. Chili. Straight from Bikini Bottom. That one's definitely. You think so? Oh, yeah. Larry the Lobster. Larry's oh, killing it right now. Larry's gym. He's twerking. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper oh, there, uh, son. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. V notch. Look. Oh, what happened no. there? 
eggs. So this is a female. Rip. So like other lobstermen will like tag them or like they'll just scrape it. And they'll like come if, it, off. if they know it's a female? Yeah. How do you, how do you know it's a female? Eggs. There'll be a bunch of eggs right here on the Oh. Bottom. Rip. That's, yeah. That's Dang. Dang. Big this one's going to be close up. I'll tell you that. Nah. Moment of truth. We got another one or no? Yes. Keeper. Yes. Whoa. Let's go boys. Another one go. goes Bandom. in the bucket. We got to band them, throw them in the bucket. Now we're, we're eating good now. We got we got lots of lobsters for the catch and cook. I'm excited. Boom. You nervous? Kind of. Like, After you guys' performances, like, I mean, I don't know if I can compete, It's going to be man. a lot to live up to. We'll you got to bust out a few squats and you'll be chilling. Yeah, yeah, you need to get a squat. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're good. You go, Wyatt, spot him. Mm. Wyatt, spot him. Spot him on. <laughs> Give her out. Yeah. Give her out. How bad. Not, oh, I, oh, he got a knock. He got a knock. He got to take third place just because. Oh, oh, you need to It's all right. We'll give it another chance. We'll give it another chance. It's all right. As long as it does the job, it's all good. Exactly. Nice guys always finish last, man. That's right. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> nice guy. The old one liner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah you got it. I wish we could help oh. you, boys, but you got it. You got it. Ready? You guys got it. Yep. Come on, you got it. Uh -oh. I should start timing them to see how fast I can do it. I've, I've got a good feeling about this one All for right. some reason. I'm guessing five keepers. Oh, 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 there's a couple good, there's a couple good looking ones in there. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, oh, it's Big Chungus yeah. right there, son. <laughs> you oh, snip you. oh, there's a couple. I oh, think that might be close. Yeah. This is this. this that's that's, be that's Big Boy. Oh yeah. Is it, and it's not a girl, so that's that's good. Yeah. That's important. Keeper. Yeah. Keeper. Yes. There we go. Oh. Breaking the ice. Breaking okay. the ice. Oh, baby. All right. There's another one. Uh oh. Let's see. Oh yeah, boys. Another keeper. One. Oh yeah. Oh, we another got two. two. Let's oh, go. Let's go. Going for three. Going for three. Maybe. Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah that I'm going to go with that one. Short. Yeah. He's, he's missing a claw, dude. Oh, rip. Yeah. Oh, look at that little claw. baby claw right there. Wow. He's, he's a grower. He's a grower, not a shower, all right? Hey. Oh, brutal. Listen. <laughs> See you later, dude. Band, band those up. Two. Family friendly. We got, we got two. Two big keepers. You're racking up the lobster game right now. This is exciting. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Boom. Into the live well. We are headed now to the island to finally do the catch, clean, cook that we've been just, I mean, ever since we planned this trip, weeks and weeks back, I'm just like, man, if I get one thing out of this trip, all I want is a freshly caught Maine lobster. I'm over here collecting seashells, uh, waiting for this water to boil. Right now we've got uh, the lobsters laying out on the rocks where I'm babysitting to make sure I'm crawl away. But this island is just in the middle of this little bay. Do you call this a bay, like what we're in in yeah. general, just yeah. a bay? We're in a bay right now off the Atlantic. Yeah, I'm good at geography. Off the Atlantic here. And uh, there's literally just a random island. Nobody's out here. They're just, I mean, they're out doing their thing, but no one's on this island. So we've got a whole island to ourselves with six total is what we're cooking for right now. Wild, main, fresh from the ocean lobster. And we're gonna do just, you know, a good old catch and cook. This, we're, setting, we're setting the vibes. Instead of going to like a house or even going back to the claw cabin, we wanna experience and enjoy our first main lobster the most authentic, legit way, which is cooking it right where you caught it. Stick the lid on. There you go, boys. You get the old lid back on. Six of them in there. They are good sauna. Everybody oh, yeah. loves a good sauna. Oh, no. So they're going. They're going in the hot tub for a little bit. How long? You, how long you had to cook them for? Twelve minutes. You got a timer. Yeah. Oh, he's dialed. Buddy's, buddy's dialed already. <laughs> Twelve minutes. We've got a melted pot of butter right over here. It's gonna fill up. Oh, yeah. This is a, this is key. Melted butter. Right. Crucial. You can't be eating lobster without the butter dip. So this guy's getting melted right now. It's freaking hot out here. I'm still excited for these uh, lobster. Yeah, just take the take the lid off. Yeah, I got Oh God! Ooh. What's that strat? Why does he look like that? You see that every day or what? The little goober. Yeah. Buddy forgot to blow his nose before he threw him in the pot. What the hell is that? You not seen that before? No, yeah, you see that a lot. Oh, okay. Thank God. 
Yeah, there we go. That's a haul there, son. Jeez. Holy Sheesh, cow. boys. That this son of a gun. <laughs> he had it figured out. That's a big boy. Mm -hmm. This is the moment we've been waiting for all day. We got melted butter. Delicious looking. Bright red. Super red. Man lobster. Time to get to crack. Oh, oh, look at the juices, wow. though. Sheesh. Then you want to... Hold that oh, up. Oh, you wow. gotta be kidding me, guy. <laughs> and then you just do that, and then tail is just twist. Oh, snap. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, twist that off. Okay. Okay. And then you can break these things off, these little, 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 little oh, tail fins or something. Punch. How hot is so that? Hot. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably hot, huh? <laughs> your, your fingers are just melting. Oh. And then you just use those, that peck and push it through, and then the whole thing will come out. Okay. What? I've really? never seen. I don't think I've quite seen that before. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna crack a claw. Wish we had actual claws to crack and drink, and then you know this. But it's all right. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Ooh. This is juicy. Oh. Ooh. Phenomenal. Look at that claw meat right there, son. All right, we need to distribute some butter. Or, I mean, yeah. we can just put yeah. some right here in the middle and go for it. Community dunking. Nice piece of claw meat right there. A little dunk in the butter. Oh my. <laughs> From Maine getting clean wow. water, dude. I don't know if it's because we're on an island and we haven't eaten a whole lot today and it's hot outside and we worked really hard for these, but that is hands down, 100% without a doubt, the best lobster I've ever stuck in my mouth. I mean, and that was just the claw meat, which you, you think the claw meat's better, huh? No, you're, you're a tail meat guy? No, I'm a, I'm a claw guy. Oh, so your buds are both claw guys. So supposedly the claw meat's better than the tail meat. You going in it for Johnny? Look at that piece, Ooh. dude. Got the whole claw. Ooh. All right, we'll give a little dip of cheer. Ooh. Cheers, boys. Cheers Oof. to Maine. Oof. Let's see it. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Slamming. I, I agree with you, Flair. Slamming, get in there. That is <sighs> the best lobster I've ever had. Get in the dip zone here. Oof. Starting off with the claw. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That's that is a, so good. Mm -hmm. That is phenomenal. I don't think I've ever had lobster claw meat though. I've had no. I've had tail meat, so I'm gonna go for the tail now. That was fun. You said give the old twist and pull. Oh god, rip. Those little fins, just snap them off. Okay. There you go. Which side do you use? The spoon or the fork? Doesn't matter. I usually use the fork though. There you go. Why is I feel like what? I've always like why, why have I never done that? I feel like I've always like shredded through that with like a mm -hmm. with like scissors or something. You made that look really easy. It, it is. Grab my grab my poker. Watch this. You got you got to rip the little fins off. Okay. And then poke from to... that end out. Okay. This is blowing my mind. I've never seen it done like this. Watch this. Oh yeah. I feel like I just oh oh. Did you get it? Oh. oh. Is the green stuff fine? Yeah. Is the dookie it's fine? It's not. This is not dookie. That black. That's dookie. Yeah. And that's not okay? <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's up to you, so but the I, green mean, stuff? I prefer it not to. It's just like... Yeah, it's tamale. <laughs> what? <laughs> what <did> you, <laughs> what the heck? This is, yeah. is, it, this yeah. is lobster guacamole. All right, boys, here we go. I feel like you want a lot of butter on that one. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. I think I'm a tail guy. Really? Oh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> what do you think, John? Damn. What do you prefer? Oh man, yeah, I think I'm a claw guy. Really? What yeah. do you What do you say? The claw was good. Big tail guy. Mm -hmm. I think the tail's a move. I think the tail has a little bit more flavor. Yeah, I don't know if it's just me, yeah. but like it's got. I don't know. They're both good. Maybe it was the guacamole that added a little spice to it. I'm not sure, but I do have another claw here. Hmm. So I'm gonna go back to the claw, and, and we're gonna get a final verdict here, whether we're claw or tail guys here. Ooh. Oh yeah. My this is a full this is a full pincher deal going on here. If I can get her out. Oh yeah. Alright. Going in again for the claw. Verdict's in. Tail. Hmm. I'm vibing on they're, they're both really good. I know. For some reason I just have like a little bit more flavor with the, the tail vibe, but they're both absolutely phenomenal. I see why John got a cabin out here, honestly. This it all makes sense now. I would purchase a cabin just so I could like be closer to this, just so I could sit here and get meat out of the knuckle of a lobster, because 
It was just fire. This is the best, probably the best catch and go I think I've ever done. All right, final vote. Tail or claw? Tail. I'm a nut guy. I like the knuckles. Tail. Claw. Claw. Tail. Backwater. Wait, I, I need to keep tally. Sorry, go ahead. All right, here, here's tail. Here's here's claw. Wait, what is it? Wait, what's what's? No, go ahead. What do you what do you like better? Tail. Tail. Do we got a knuckle symbol? That, that's okay, hand. That's okay. claw. <laughs> okay, claw. What are you? Tail. 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 Claw. Claw. Tail. Four to two. Dang. We're, we're on the tail duty, uh, but I mean the claw, the tail, the knuckles, the oh, freaking everything in it. Like every little arm that had meat in it was absolutely phenomenal. Big shots to the boys for showing us how it's done. This is how, I mean, this is the way of life out here for you guys. I'm jealous. Yeah. This is, mm -hmm. you know, growing sweet corn is cool and all, but this sounds like a lot more fun uh, trapping. And they, these taste better than raccoons too. <laughs> sure. Believe, Believe it or not. not. Believe it or not, these taste way better than raccoons. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's Maine Lobster Catch Clean Cook on the island. We did it exactly like these boys do every single day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed for me and the rest of us. I think we all really can, I mean, honestly, we can appreciate where it comes from now. Seeing all the work that goes into it, I mean, they've got like 150 pots out there. It is a lot of work to get this. And, uh, and again, I want to thank the guys for, for taking us out and showing us how it's done. We got to go swimming for the boat now because the tide came up. And hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you guys did and you want us to come back to Maine or whatever future videos you guys want to see up here while we're up in the Northeast, comment those down in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.